Hey folks, Papa Joe here. You wanted a little tour of my truck. So I'm gonna give you a picture of it. Let me back off a little bit. It's a good looking blue. I love the color blue that it is. It's uh, not all bad. Uh oh, it's a modern day truck. But all I can say, I got the APU running, so you'll hear it in a minute. Y'all was wanting to know the name of the company I drive for. There it is. And they do have a website. We do have a, we got a tri-pack. Typical stuff back here. Oh, that little black box right there is a pain in the butt. That's the one for uh, if there's somebody in your blind spot. Now that thing also, I have found out, when you uh, go to make a right turn, even when you turn your signal light on, it'll pick up guardrails, uh, street signs, I think mosquitoes. Now that black box right there on top of the license plates, that's the one that tells you how close you're following the people. That one can be a pain in the butt as well. Now up there in the dash, see if I can get up here where you can see it better. That black box on the left. <coughs> <coughs> I'm not over my pneumonia yet. The black box up there on the left, that is uh, the lane departure one. Yes, we do DEF. I'm not real crazy about where the fuel tanks are or the caps anyway. It'd been a lot easier if they'd put them back here in the back. But they did. Uh, pretty cool truck. Alright. Now I'm going to take the inside. Now it's a little bit dirty. But Mama got out of the truck. And uh, we didn't get to clean it up after she got out. We had too much other stuff to do. And I was sick. So, uh, oh, I wound up going back to the doctor. One thousand six hundred and ten miles. So now, there's that black box. The other ones are tow passes and stuff. There's where I keep my phone on the dash. There's my GPS on the dash. And that's where the tablet usually is. And this one over here is my logs. The phone for my logs. Oh, uh -oh. that's it right there. All right. Uh, got a suspension gauge there. Front axle, rear axle, oil temperature. You know. Uh, this one here is for hill assist. In case you don't know how to take off on a hill. Just different stuff. Uh, it's kind of weird on the heating and stuff. I kind of like being able to set the temperature. So, you know, I've got it set right now about 68. So, that's that. Uh, wow, there's steering wheel. It says Peterbilt. Now let me take you to the back. Now I do have a little bit of stuff in my pathway here. Simply because I carry a trash can. They turn over so I put something beside it. I normally, I'm looking for my lights here. There's the lights. I normally have it strapped. I haven't made it that far yet. Alright, and I just hung my hat on the armrest. Both chairs, or both seats have double armrest, which the Volvo did not. Alright, now, I'm standing up. Here's my bunk. And those are pretty wide pillows. Got enough for two. It is 46 inches wide, I think it was, when we measured it. We have to order specialty sheets for it. There's one of the cabinets. There ain't much on top, but you can use a little bit. 
there is my microwave. I'm backing you off here. Maybe you can see it. We back up here. Yeah, that's the microwave. Uh, here's all the controls for the bunk. This is, these are a couple of cakes. I was teasing Mama about not making me a cake. She made me a cake last night. This is what they tell me is for the coffee pot. Let me grab one of my lights. That's what they're telling me is for the coffee pot. And it's awful small for a coffee pot. And I, somebody had told me about a uh, Black & Decker. I didn't get to go check it out. Uh, same thing over here. You're spinning around. I'm trying to hold you one hand and hold the light. That's a mount for a TV. I ain't carried a TV in years. Uh, more shelving. This is uh, my closet. You know, Velcro door on it. Let me fasten that back. Let's see. This is my ice box down here on the bottom. Oh. And it's about twice the size of the one I had in the Volvo. So that I'm happy with. And here in a little bit, I'm going to have a salad. Uh, now back on the other side, because this is behind the passenger seat, my closet right there, and the ice box. And you've seen the TV stand, the TV stand and a little cabinet up top, and that little cabinet over there. There's spotlight, AC vents, whatnot. Uh, and I keep stuff on the foot of the bed simply because I normally have my feet propped up of a night. So I put my uh, clothes bag there so that uh, it don't go no, the pillows will stay in place. This is just another little cabinet. There is a, another door for it somewhere, one of them cloth doors, leather doors, whatever they are. Uh, cup holder, little cubby hole. Yeah, you know, wiper got her flashlight, it looks like. So, that's a tour of my truck. Uh, take you up front. Little cubby hole over there. Cubby hole up there, one in the middle. Behind the paper towels where the CB normally goes. I ain't put one in yet. Now, I like to figure out a way to do my paper towels like that. Another cubby hole, another cubby hole. Oh, uh, overall I kind of like it. This one actually has a glove box there. As you can see, the Volvo did not. So, uh, it beats that Volvo by a long shot. I'm just not real crazy about a lot of the modern electronics that are on it. But, uh, something I have to deal with. Alright folks, that's for my truck. Remember, God loves you. So do I. Let me sit down for a quick second here, and I'll give you a shot of my view from the driver's seat. So, you don't even really see that hood out there, uh, which to some of us old school, I picked it up and angled it down a little bit. For, uh, and that mirror, I love my mirrors out there on the fenders, way out yonder. A lot of people don't like them. I like them. You can't have too many mirrors. So, uh, oh, and this one has a little center visor in it. A little bitty center visor. Whoop, there were my glasses. There's my visor with a mirror in case I want to make sure I'm as pretty as I think. Oh, yeah, I am. So, all right, folks, there you go. God bless. Have a good day. Remember, God loves you, and so do I. I am glad Trump got in. Y'all have a blessed day.